Bacardi with ice. I hit it flooded with ice. Bacardi get flooded with ice. Bacardi get flooded with ice. Yeah. Huh. Bacardi gets covered with ice. YouTube. What's going on guys, it's your boy Q. We're back again with another video. And today I got something pretty cool. I think a lot of you guys will like this. I'm gonna show you guys like one of the secrets that Q Beats uses. And if he doesn't use this, he definitely uses something like this, but it's just a super easy way to get that Q Beats sound. Anything you would hear like some of the old Travis Scott stuff, anything Metro Boom would make, or kind of like some of those dark melodic samples that you would hear Q Beats make. But yeah, it's a super simple trick that you could do in FL Studio. You don't even need a plugin. As long as you have FL Studio and Edison, you're gonna be able to do this. Yeah, real quick, if you guys don't know who I am, my name's Q. I go by Q. I'm a producer, a vocal engineer, and I make producing videos, vocal engineering videos, vocal temp plates and a bunch of stuff in between if you guys want to make sure that you stay tuned with all my content go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and next to that is a bell and if you hit that you're going to be notified every single time i upload and also while you're down there hit that like button for me if we get hit 100 likes i'll drop a free metro boom and drum kit but yeah anyways let's jump in fl studio so actually before we jump into fl studio i just wanted to do a quick promo so if you guys head over to quintababa.com that's my website that's where i have all my drum kits vocal kits mastering presets and everything in between and basically in this video we're going to be using my full circle kit which is a multi kit it has a drum kit one shot kit loop kit and a bunch more stuff in between but if you're on my website and you hit drum kits go to full circle you can see the page right here yeah this is the kit we're going to be using and you can see there's some previews on my website as well and just a lot more information anyways let's actually jump in fl studio okay so i'm going to try and explain this as easily as we can all right so we are in fl studio and i have the bpm set to 124 and i pulled up this plug for my one shot kit called texture and we just dragged it in there. And the only thing that I did was I set the attack all the way down, hold all the way up and release all the way down. And then I also right clicked and hit cut itself. So now what we're gonna do is go into the piano roll. And the way I make my melodies is I always go to the view menu and go to scale highlighting. And today we're gonna be working in C minor. And uh, I have it set to minor melodic, which is kind of like a darker scale. Yeah, and then we're just gonna lay down a super simple progression and then we'll get into that secret method. I'm gonna turn this up a bit. Yeah, this is pretty much how simple it is. It's literally two chords and they're just kind of arpeggiated. And I just duplicated it over. Now we're gonna go into the playlist and we're gonna pull this pattern in and you can hit Control Alt C on your keyboard and this is gonna consolidate the pattern into a wave. When we do that super quick, then I'm just gonna trim the edge off. Now what we're gonna do is the method that I think Qbeats actually use. So if you double click on the sample and right click it, go to open in audio editor and you're gonna right click right here the sample rate. And I just usually type in something around 2000 and make sure you hit this resample button. As soon as you click accept, it's gonna resample that. And what you could do is just right here, drag that back into the playlist. And if you listen to it, there's a huge difference. You can see it's already way darker. So now what we're gonna do is just route this to mixture track one. I pulled up an RC retro color and, and all I did was set the noise to vinyl two. Give the wobble on a little bit, the distortion pretty much at the stock. And then I have space up. I brought the decay up and I brought it up to like 40%. Then I also use the EQ to cut out a bunch of the high end. And now this is where our sample's at. All right, so now I'm just going to drag a new pattern in. And usually what I like to do is once we're at this point, I feel like we have a decent foundation. So I want to get a bass going. So I'm going to go to my one shot kit. And there's this bass called Phantom that I really like. So we're going to go in and set the envelope settings just like this. Make sure you do cut itself. I'm going to turn it all the way up. And then we're just going to follow the chord progression, which was C down to G. I'm actually going to do something a little different here. Just hit Control L on these notes. I'm actually, instead of just following chord progression for the next two bars, we're actually going to go up to D and then D sharp. Now you have something like this. Maybe we'll bring this up to F too. I think next what we're gonna do here is just add another one shot. So I'm gonna go to the synths. I'm grab this flute and then I'm just gonna come up with a quick counter melody. All right, so this is what I came up with. And as you can see, there's some slide notes. And the way you make a slide note is if you double click on a normal note, there's this button right here. It's just like a triangle and it's a slide. Click that and click accept. And then that note is a slide note. But here's what the counter melody on that flute sounds like dry.
But I'm just going to duplicate that over for eight bars and we're going to route this over to mix track number two. I'm also going to route the bass to mix track seven. Then we're going to go and solo out that flute. And I just put an EQ on it that looks like this. And then we also have an RC retro color and we're using a lot of distortion, some wobble and a bunch more space. And we're also making it a bit wider. All right, so now we're just gonna add like some more, maybe plucks or something. Let's see what we can find. I like this one. And of course, we're gonna set the envelope settings like this. You pretty much do this with every one shot. Cut itself. Let's see if we could add something up top here. I'm gonna route this to mix track three. And let's go in the piano roll, see what we can do. Actually, first, we have it routed to mix track three. So what I'm gonna do, add an RC retro color again. EQ it a bunch. Pretty much leave everything the same, but turn off that noise. And we're gonna bring the space way up. adjust the attack on this that's cool right there I like that might try it with a different sound Yeah, I like that. So we're going to add an EQ under that RC Retro Color. Then I'm going to add a Fruity Chorus. And then just a Fruity Delay 3. And we're going to right-click the time and set it to a fourth. Bring the level down a bit and the cutoff. Then bring the dry down. Let's set it to a sixteenth. My bad. I was bringing the dry down. I wanted to bring down the wet. And then what I'm doing now is just I selected all the melodic elements and we're going to right click and open track. This button right here. We've route to this track only. And we're going to pull up an EQ. Go to the third preset and pull out all that bass. And that's pretty much it for the sample. I'm just going to duplicate this over a few times and we're just going to take out the bass and loop this part. We're going to make a new pattern, drag it in and extend it for eight bars. Then we're going to go to my drum kit and just start on some drums. I'm using this clap and then I can just apply the default MIDI pattern by clicking the middle mouse button. Turn this clap down a bit. And then we're gonna grab a hi-hat. Gonna bring that out knob up a bit and turn on the volume. So I'm gonna keep it pretty simple and we're just duplicating that over for eight bars. You know what? I actually want to add one more melodic element. So I'm going to make a new pattern. I'm just going to drag that in and for eight bars. I'm going to go back to my one shot kit and we're going to go under the pads. Grab this one called Space Kid. Cut itself. You guys already know what to do. Like this. And we're just going to follow the root note of the bass just so we have some kind of bass layer. That's perfect. We're going to route that to mix track four. So load out. And I'm gonna add an RC retro color. Got a fruity chorus on this as well. Get a bit wider. And just duplicate that over. Alright, back to the drum kit. Let's grab a snare.
All right, cool. And that's pretty much it for the bounce. So now we're gonna grab an 808. So I'm going to my kit. We're grabbing the spin cycle. Turn it up a bit and click cut itself. And then we're gonna follow the root note of that bass pattern we made. We're gonna go in the 808 and set the envelope settings like this. That's perfect, and we're just going to duplicate that over for 8 bars. And I'm going to turn this bass up a little bit more, actually. We're going to go into miscellaneous functions right here, and there's another volume knob. And then what we could do here is grab a kick. We're going to grab this one called Steel. What I'm gonna do is route all the drums to a mixer track. Control Shift L. And we're gonna mix this kick and 808 a little bit. Grab an EQ on the kick and pull out that high end. Perfect. Duplicate that over. Pretty much the last thing we're gonna do here. Grab an open at. And then also when the kick comes in, what we're going to do is grab this second snare and we're going to copy the clap pattern over. So then we get something like this. And that's pretty much it right there. So we're going to split that channel. We're just going to bring all the drums in. And for the first drop, everything's going to be there. And then for the second one, we're taking out the kick and that second snare. We have the hi-hat coming a bit later too. And then we're gonna go to that main part of the melody and we're gonna add halftime and just another EQ. Make sure none of that low end sneaks through. And what we're gonna do is create an automation click on the halftime. And for the intro, we're going to do that. And then the halftime is also going to come in for this section right here. And then back again for this section. And after that, we're probably just going to duplicate this over. What we're going to do is bring the bass in for this part. We're going to have the hi-hat and the clap. It sounds like this. All we gotta do is duplicate this over twice. That's the whole beat right there. All right, you guys know what time it is. Let's do a little freestyle. I had a covered in ice. I had a drowning in ice. My patty was covered in ice. I had a covered in ice. I had a covered in ice. Yeah. I had a covered in ice. I had a covered in ice. My patty gets covered in ice. Covered with ice, and 
the nighttime. And I feel like I'm a demon, I'ma fly away with a bad bitch in the nighttime. With a bad bitch, come outside, I'm alright, I'm alright. Huh. Why you wanna come downtown with a bad little bitch? She's all around. I don't wanna see your face on the guy in the bathroom. I don't wanna see your face on the side of the town when you run around. I got this money on me. Uh. Yeah. I got the duffel bag filled with racks huh. Fucking that bitch in the back I told her that I don't want nothing to take huh. I'ma go back to the back Back to the future on all of these bitches I flash with these bitches, I fuck on the back Yeah, yeah And everything that I said is a face Alright guys, so that's the end of the video I hope you enjoyed this one, this turned out pretty cool I haven't made a beat like this in a long, long time I actually enjoyed how it turned out, so that's pretty cool If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you guys hit that like button Because like I said in the beginning of the video if we do hit 100 likes on this video, I will drop a free Shaboom and Drum Kit. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed the vocal preset I used to freestyle, you already know where that's from, quindababa.com. I actually ended up using the default mixing template. And yeah, that's all I got for you guys right now. So I will see you guys in the next episode of Q-Timber. Deuces. I had to cut it in ice. I had to cut it in ice. With paddock is coming in ice. I had to cut it in ice. I had to cut it with ice. I had to flood it with ice. Is covered with ice, and I come alive in the nighttime. And I feel like I'm a demon, I'ma fly away.